Well, now on Central, Richard Bath at ITN has the latest headlines. Czechoslovakia's communist leadership has resigned. The Politburo bowed to the clamour for reform. The party chief Milos Jakes admitted his own reforms had not been fast enough and soon afterwards Karol Urbanek was announced as his replacement. In Prague and in cities throughout Czechoslovakia, protest turned to celebration as thousands of people ran through the streets. State television gave full coverage of the crowds and conducted interviews in the streets. The former Czech leader Alexander Dubček made an emotional and triumphant appearance in front of thousands who had packed into Wenceslas Square in Prague to hear him speak. The atmosphere was electric, the press of people overwhelming, a quarter of a million people in perfect harmony. They were ready. Alexander Dubček stepped onto the balcony. It was the moment of climax. Overwhelming, emotional and unforgettable. Twenty years in political obscurity as a disgraced non-person had not taken their toll. He told them he was raising his voice in order to help build a new Czechoslovakia and emphasise there must be no confrontation as the nation seeks to establish a new face. Three men from Northern Ireland have been granted bail by the French police. They face charges of arms trafficking and conspiracy. The charges relate to an alleged terrorist plot concerning South African diplomats. The French allege the three men, detained since April, belong to Ulster Resistance, a Protestant paramilitary group. The government is introducing a nationwide program of blood screening to try to find out how many people are carrying the AIDS virus. The tests will be carried out anonymously and patients will be entitled to refuse to cooperate. The government's advertising campaign will stress that the disease is not confined to homosexuals and drug users. And that's it from us. We'll be back at two minutes past five with the morning news. Now, here's a sight for sore eyes, the Invisible Man.